Good morning, hi guys. Today, Kendall, stop. <laughs> I don't know why my camera is so red. I'm really hoping that it hangs on there. I don't wanna have to get a new camera. But anyway, we are heading out for a little shopping trip and lunch date with my kitties. Um, I think we're gonna hit up Michael's. We're gonna go to Hobby Lobby, Ollie's, um, Barnes & Noble, Target. We just had to pick up the remainder of our supplies and look for a few other things for school. Um, I'm giving, this is our week off. So I have this whole week off and then we'll get back to business. You guys, I have a lot to catch up on. Huh? I have a lot to catch up on. I did not get to do their graduation ceremony so that's something I need to pull together really quickly. Nothing super fancy, just nice for us to look back on and to, um, and to serve as a, what is it called? Like a marker or whatever of us moving on to the next grade level. So I definitely wanna do that. And shout out to my wonderful husband who gave me the permissions to be different and do a graduation ceremony right before school starts. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're heading off to do that. They've got Peter Rabbit, Where the Sidewalk Ends, A Madeline Treasure, Curious George. Can you get Peter Rabbit? Can you get Peter Rabbit? <laughs> what? Savannah smiling. <laughs> how gorgeous is this book, you guys? And look at Charlotte's how Web. How gorgeous is this book? <laughs> look at Winnie the Pooh. They have Winnie the Pooh. Where, where's Charlotte? And they have Alice in Wonderland. How. Charlotte's Gorgeous Web. is this Charlotte's Web, you guys. Aesop's Fables and The Wizard of Oz. They have Little Women to Kill a Mockingbird. Okay, so my camera died, but <laughs> so now I'm using my phone. But I found The Wild Robot um, and Story Thieves. I'm also thinking about going ahead and getting Matilda. And the BFG and fish and fish in the tree. So I have a cart full of books, you guys. Um, they've got the little prince. I want that. I just like want everything. They've got all of the Ronald Dahl books over here. I think I picked up Matilda and I don't know this story. Okay, wait. Oh my gosh. I'm so obsessed. Okay, now we are in Target. <laughs> it's raining. My phone died. And we are in the Target book section trying to see if we can find any goodies. Um, yeah, so I got lots of good things from Barnes & Noble. I'll show you what I got as soon as I get home. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to get here. Other Magic Trees house books, $4.50. I have to figure out which ones I'm actually missing because I was gifted um, several Magic Tree house books, which is really exciting, but you know, there's a ton of them, so I'm sure I'm missing many. Um, <laughs> I heard this one is good. That one. We're in Ollie's and look at what I found. I was gonna pick this up from Barnes and Noble where we just were and it was, it was $7.99 or eight. It was $8.99 for the paperback. And they have this full color collector's edition here for $4.99. Like, how amazing is that? That is so exciting!
my first order of business is to sort through all of this stuff that I took off of my old shelves. Now that my new shelves are done, I just want to go ahead and purge everything that I can here, things that we've used up, um, separate anything that I'm going to use for our records, and clear out some space to make room for new things. I do have some of our new supplies thrown into the mix and I need to find little homes for them. Um, so yeah, I have quite a bit of stuff to do. But I'm going to refuse to be overwhelmed and I'm just going to take it one step at a time. So I'm going to work my way through this stuff. The good thing about it is that a lot of this stuff, when I look at it, I see how long we've worked through it. And I know that we're nice and ready to get some new things. So that's exciting. I feel like I made wise decisions, wise choices. I didn't spend a ton of money. Most everything was on sale or gifted, and so that makes me feel really good about the choices that I've made um, when making purchases for our homeschool and how much we've used things. Um, the things that we have that we have not made our way completely through, I'm going to hold on to a lot of that or separate a lot of that so that we can still have something to pull from. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to show you, I don't know if it's in this video, but in another video, um, what I'm going to do, like a lot of the workbooks that you kind of get halfway through or something, I'm going to take out a lot of those pages, hole punch them and put them into binders for easy reference. So yeah, I have a lot to do, but we're just going to take it one step at a time. Okay, so now I have everything laid out on the floor. <laughs> now I'm just gonna go through and separate them into um, piles of what I'm keeping, what I'm giving away, um, and trying to sort them to make a little bit more sense out of everything. That wall was like the last space in my room that just really bothered me. But now it is, now it looks like that. You're so pretty. Let me turn it down so you can see. Now it looks like that. You're so pretty. Yay, so I'm going to get all of this stuff down here on the shelves. 